Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. So in this video we are comparing the Pocket 6K Pro against the old 6K and we want to figure out if it's really worth the upgrade, the additional features that you get coming up. Hi guys, my name is Paul, I'm a German filmmaker and this channel is all about filmmaking, gear reviews, but also DaVinci Resolve tutorials. So if that's something that you're interested in, consider subscribe, I would really appreciate that. Thank you. So as I've said in this video, we are comparing the Blackmagic Pocket 6K against the 6K Pro. Um, these cameras are from Lucas. He helped me shooting that. I will link his Instagram down below, so definitely uh, follow him. Um, and yeah, basically we are starting right now. So let's start with the build quality of the new 6K Pro. Um, it's a bit bulkier than the old version. Um, the handle is a bit bigger, which I like, because I got big hands, so for handheld shooters out there, definitely um, the way to go. Um, overall, the build quality is um, as black magic used to do that very, very solid, so um, no improvements. Old chassis, but all good. Uh, but one little feature we still have, we have two. Um, two screws on, on the back to secure your um, plate, so that's great to see. And yeah, I think I totally agree that the handling overall is better on the 6K Pro because it's a little bit bigger. And if you have big hands, I think that's in, in favor for you. So one of the biggest features of the new 6K Pro is that it has built-in ND filters and up to six stops. And if you don't use an ND filter, there's also a clear filter inside and uh, really great that Blackmagic states that all of them are have an IR cut filter already built in. So um, we've tested that and first of all, let's talk about color shift because that was also an issue that I've seen online. And we've tested all the different stops and there are minimal to no color shifts when using the ND filters and even the slightest one that you might get are easily correctable in post, I think. Uh, talking about IR pollution, we've tested both of them side by side and I or we didn't see any difference to be very honest. Um, but yeah, due to the weather here in cold Germany, <laughs> uh, it's I will figure that out once uh, we have more sun here. But also it's safe to say that the six stops in D are not enough for using it outside, at least when you want to shoot at ISO 400 with an uh, F2.8 and you're shooting in 24p, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm gonna test the 6K Pro even further. So uh, there will be an upcoming review on this channel as well. So one big improvement um, at the 6K is the new tiltable screen. What is also um, handsome for handheld, um, you can go low angles, tilt it up like that, high angles, very handsome to have. Um, it's quite bright, um, we tested it out at 50 and 100% and it was definitely um, much brighter than the older version. But um, this model has um, sadly the blue tint at the screen, which some of you maybe heard about. This one got it and maybe Black Magic can fix this um, with an update. Yeah, so we also compared it uh, to my small HD uh, Focus 7. That one has a thousand nits, and this one has a leech, at least Black Magic states, uh, 1500 nits. And uh, as you can see, it's much brighter. And I personally never had an issue uh, filming outside with the Focus 7. So I assume, because uh, we hadn't any sunlight today, <laughs> unfortunately, but I assume you can definitely use the screen outside from uh, talking about uh, brightness. But as said, the blue tint is really an issue and hopefully Blackmagic fixed that. We also didn't use any LUT, so that is the lock image that you're seeing represented on the screen and it, is, it looks like, yeah, it looks like day and night. <laughs> An additional feature is that the 6K Pro has now a second mini XLR port and I was curious to hear if there's any difference or any improvement in the audio quality. So here is a sound sample for you. 
So this is an audio test recording on the 6K Pro. We also set the level to 50%. So this is an audio test recording on the 6K and we have set the levels to 50% and so we both watched and listened to it on the screen and personally I didn't hear any difference to be honest so I think that the internal um, yeah, preamp is the same so the performance or the, the audio quality is quite decent and it's still decent. One thing that I would have wished is that you can um, now um, separately uh, adjust the gain levels from the left to the right channel on XLR, which you can do when shooting with the 3.5 millimeter uh, microphone, but sadly not so but still i think it's great that ha that blackmagic has implemented that here so another big improvement of the new 6k pro version are the batteries so no longer old canon batteries so you can use the new um, or standard um, sony npf ones battery life is much better we tested uh, them side by side and we got 47 minutes recording time at the new version and seven, uh, 27 to 28, something like that, at the old version. Um, even though um, the 6K um, told us 20% left when it uh, shut off suddenly. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, and I think because uh, we didn't test it with the battery grip, uh, if you choose to use the battery grip, you can even get longer runtime, and I think yeah, it's to totally an improvement here. So now let's talk about the image quality. If there's any difference uh, between these two cameras, and to be honest, we watched them side by side, and we could see a difference, but I think or we think it's due to that we've shot here intentionally on Color Science Gen 4 and here on Gen 5. Uh, if you want to see that, I can also make a separate video about that. But basically, I think the, the skin tones are much more neutral on the Gen 5. So a little uh, on the Gen 4, it was much more reddish. And also the, the strong colors, uh, Gen 5 handles much better. So for example, my red um, sweatshirt here is kind of a little bit more muted, more natural on the Gen 5. And also the log image of the Gen 5 is much more um, yeah, flat, so you need to adjust for that. But basically you can match them really well uh, because you are getting also Gen 5 as an update on this one here. So I think um, yeah, it's uh, you can match them really well. So now let's come to the final conclusion. Should you get the 6K Pro? Uh, if you don't own any Blackmagic camera or if you already own a 6K, what would you say, Lucas? I would say um, if I would have none of these cameras, I would go for the new version because 500 bucks um, compared to uh, the old version is worth the upgrade. So you get the new tilt screen, better battery life, um, an EVF if you want to, um, also a battery grip. So handle shooting and running gunning would be much nicer and um, yeah, more action stuffy so um, I would go for the new version but if I only would have um, the 6k I would stay there because you can produce amazing images and if you already have a rig and you rigged it up so there is not a big reason to say yes I want the new one and as we've already stated, the sensor inside is the exact same one. So you get the exact same performance. So there should be no difference. And as you've seen in the image quality, uh, I think it's it's uh, yeah it's due to only color science Gen 4 and Gen 5. Or, but anything else, it's the same. So we hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, as, as I've already said, I will do um, an upcoming review about the 6K Pro. So stay tuned for that with even much more detail. And if you have any further questions in the meantime, you know that game, just drop them down in the comments below. And yeah, don't for forget to like, subscribe. Also uh, head over to Luca's Instagram profile and we're gonna see you in the next video. Cheers. Also, viel Spaß. Let's <laughs> skip. <laughs> Dieses Problem habe ich so oft. Und vor allem, vor allem jetzt, jetzt, wenn ich es jetzt normal mache, klappt es einfach nicht mehr. Genau, am letzten Satz.